In this video, we are going to show two drilling options for strainers. The first is drilling from behind, which is the most popular because the screws are not visible. And the second is drilling from the sides, which makes the frames reusable. Make sure that the surface that you are working on is soft and clean to avoid damage to the frame when it's placed face down for final fitting. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will assume the artwork has been thoroughly examined and is ready to be put into the frame. The next thing you do is pick up the frame and put it directly over the artwork package. Slide it off the table, turn it over, and place it face down on the table. You then take the strainer and fit it into the back of the frame. Make sure it is secure before you start to put in the screws. You will need a square bit for your drill because these screws have a square head. The next step is to install the screws. Hold the frame and strainer tightly together when you're drilling to make sure they are firmly secured to each other. The strainer has a series of pre-drilled pocket holes. When the head of the screw is at the bottom of the pocket hole, it will hold the frame in place. We recommend installing the first screw and then rotating the frame before you install the second screw. Nothing is perfectly square. By rotating the installation of the screws when you install them, you are ensuring that one side is not creating tension on the other side. This concept is similar to stretching a canvas on bars. Please note that we are lifting rather than sliding the frame to ensure the face of the frame is not damaged. On larger frames, we recommend you rotate around the work surface rather than trying to lift the frame. When you have completed the drilling, turn it over and examine it one last time. You are now ready for final fitting. This will be covered in a subsequent video. Drilling from the side used to be the method used by most museums because they could reuse the frames for other exhibitions. Because the screws are visible, this is not as widely used today. It is a good option, however, if you want to reuse your frames. Because you are drilling into the strainer and not the back of the frame, which has a much smaller drilling surface, the screws can be removed and the frame reused. If you are reusing these frames frequently, we recommend using inserts. Inserts are placed into the side of the strainer so the wood is not stripped when the screws are taken in and out with reuse. Holes will be pre-drilled on the side of the frame. For the purpose of this demonstration, we are only going to show the strainer with the inserts. If you are not using inserts, you just place the strainer in the back of the frame and the drilling technique will be the same as shown for drilling with inserts. If using inserts, the strainer and the frame will have a marking on them to ensure the inserts align when you are drilling. You should make sure that the arrow on the strainer matches up with the arrow on the frame. Push down on the strainer to make sure it is securely in the frame. You then take a screw and place it in the hole and drill it into the side of the frame. When you want to remove the screws to reuse the frame, you just push the reverse button on the drill and remove the screw.